Hi, Nerd Mom here. Today I am going to be reviewing a book. This book is called Thing Explainer, Complicated Stuff in Simple Words, and it's written and illustrated by Randall Monroe, who also does the webcomic XKCD. XKCD is definitely more aimed at adults, if you are familiar with it. This book is good for all ages, mainly because of the fact that, as it says in the title, um, it contains only the thousand most common words used in the English language. So everything in this book is in extremely simple language. Like literally my six-year-old who is generally above average reading level, um, this is below his reading level. So this is really easy for him to read to himself. So it's got like every page or sometimes a two-page spread is devoted just to one thing. So for example, right here you see a washer and dryer and it's got like all the parts labeled and stuff. Um, this one over here is a sort of London underground map style of the human body, like, you know, mouth, stomach, everything like that. Um, so every page is something like this and it's just got tons of interesting stuff um, from like the International Space Station to submarines and it's all using very simple language. So um, you don't even get like the common labels for stuff. So like instead of human body, this is bags of stuff inside you. So he uses, you know, like combinations of words to make up sort of his own vocabulary for things. Um, so this makes it both very accessible, but also a little confusing at times because we're so used to having those words. Um, so I would say that um, first time around, as we're going through this, even though my son could read this by himself, um, technically he could read the words, but he might not understand everything. Like for instance, when he first saw this diagram of, you know, the human body, it doesn't look like the human body. And it's kind of like, you know, what is that? Bags of stuff inside you, like what? So I kind of had to go over it with him and we would guess together. And like, for example, there's food bag, which is obviously the stomach. So he could get that. Other things I sort of had to supply the words for him. So it's useful for us to go through this together because it allows him to access the concepts in words that he can understand and then get the, you know, the real word from me um, if that's something that he wants. So um, this is a really good thing that we are, are doing together. It's a good project to do together. Although I think after we go through this one time, this is going to be something that he returns to over and over again by himself. Um, so it's definitely like a, one, a really great foundational science book. Um, not that it's going to explain everything about science to your kids, but it's just got such a wide variety of things. Your kid's going to pour over this and um, kind of find things that they're interested in that they've never encountered before. Um, there's also sort of a plus and a minus at the same time, mostly a plus, but um, throughout the book, Randall Monroe has added his own little, like, um, you know, comics. There's just little scenes and stuff with little people down here. There's like a squirrel and it says, wait, why is this in your house? So it's got little like funny things here and there. And that's definitely good. But at the same time, it's a little distracting for my kid because we're doing this and he's like, hey, look at those people and there's stuff going on over here. Um, so I think uh, for my part, I kind of need to step back and let him just look over the page first by himself before I jump in so he can he can absorb all of the illustrations and he's not being distracted. Um, and the other thing I really like about this book is that um, you could skip around in it, but it's really good to go through one at a time because the concepts build on each other. Like um, he does, um, let's see, the nuclear power plant is called the heavy metal, heavy metal power building. Um, and so he, he introduces like words like the heavy metal power building and like hot metal. Um, and so you recognize, you know, what these are like, you know, radioactive, radioactivity and substances and stuff. Um, but he uses the, you know, the definite, or not the definitions, but the, the terms that he's invented here with the simple words, he uses them later on to explain other things. So when you get to the one where there's a bunch of world maps and he's explaining it, he's um, talking about like, you know, there's a lot of heavy metal here. Um, and stuff like that. So if your kid goes through the earlier ones first, then they'll recognize those same concepts later and they'll connect them. Like there's a good visual connection. It's like, wait, what was that? Let's flip back. Oh, it was this, this is you. And so you can see the connection between, th between things, which is really cool. Um, so 
yeah, basically this is an awesome book. I love the illustrations. I love the writing. Um, this is a really good thing um, that you could go through with your kid if you wanted to just look ahead yourself and see what's there. Um, you could definitely use any of these pages as a sort of starting point for a bigger exploration of any concept. Um, so, you know, you can look through, pick through and see what what you can go further on um, or let your kid pick out what they're interested in. Um, I even, um, you know, because of the simplistic words, sometimes I got confused about like, wait, what are they talking about? Like he's using these simple words, but I'm not quite sure of what it's talking about. And um, sometimes I would have to go online and Google and be kind of like, oh, that's what it was. Um, so it's, it's, it's both simple, it's deceptively simple and also really challenging in an interesting way for both children and adults. So this has been really fun for me and my son to explore together, and I definitely recommend it. Thank you.